Welcome to Meals with Moses. Tonight we're going to be making a chicken dish that's fairly simple and it's going to taste great. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to get started. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to season our chicken breasts. These are two pretty large chicken breasts that I cut in half and that's to help keep the portion size down because they were way too much meat. Um, a regular portion of protein meat is four to six ounces. So I've cut these in half just to get them down. We're going to season them with the taco seasoning mix. This is just a taco seasoning. I bought at Kroger's. It's their brand. It's actually pretty good. So we're going to season them. And then we're going to put them in our baking dish after we season them up. And, uh, you don't have to worry. You just sprinkle much as you want on there, as little. Um, I like quite a bit on mine. So I'll probably use this whole pack. We just season them all up here. And throw them in the pan there. I'm going to put a little more on this one. It don't seem to have enough. And uh, we're just going to stick them in this pan. Got to make them fit. And then we're done. That's all you got to prep the chicken. Now we got to make a sauce that we're going to put on the chicken. Now we're going to get started on the sauce. I got my pan on here. We're going to heat it up. And we're going to put in the ingredients. Half a stick of butter. We got one cup of salsa. I got two tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour. I got two cups of chicken broth. Now this is two cups of grated cheese. We're only going to use half of this because we're going to use the rest of it on top of the chicken when it goes in the oven. So I'm going to put my butter in and get it started melting. Now that our butter's all melted, what we're going to do is we're going to throw in this two tablespoons of flour. We're going to sprinkle it in. We're going to cook this until it starts to turn. which will be, oh, two, three, four minutes. And uh, Now we got that cooked in there. We're going to put in our chicken broth. We're going to be stirring a little bit as we put it in because we want it smooth as we can get it. So. this around. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. I got the heat on about medium. We're going to stir this up. We want to break up all the clumps from the butter and the flour. So it does take a little bit of stirring to, to get this to smooth out. Here we want to get it up and we'll let that cook for a, a minute or two and then we'll be ready to add our next ingredient. It's cooking for a couple minutes. We're going to, it's starting to thicken up a little bit. 
stir it around there a little bit. While I'm over here, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 so we can get it preheated when we're ready to go. Okay, now what that is, we're going to put in about half of this cheese. That may be a little more than half. And we're going to melt that cheese down and get it melted down. This is going to be our sauce that once we go on top of the chicken. That looks like it's pretty good melted there. Doesn't take very long. It melts pretty quick. Especially if you use block cheese and grate your own. Um, you can watch my kitchen utensils video and I show you the cheese grater I use in it and it's pretty handy. But the block cheese melts a lot better than the packaged cheese. Okay, that's cooked down. Now, we're going to add one cup of salsa to it. Mix it up. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. And I think our sauce is ready. We're going to go put it on the chicken. Okay, now that our sauce is done, I'm just going to take it and we're just going to pour it all over the chicken. use all of it okay and then the last thing we're going to do we're going to take the rest of our cheese and we're going to put on top just sprinkle it around trying to throw it all over the place like I'm doing but we're going to sprinkle it all over the top of this chicken and then it's going to be ready to pop in the oven So now we're done. This is ready to go in a 350 degree oven for 25 to 35 minutes. Now we got the chicken in the oven. Another thing, I'm going to make some rice. I'm going to turn this on, get this to a boil. This is uh, not just long grain rice of uh, one cup. It has been rinsed in water. I rinsed it out. You want to rinse your rice first as long as you're not using instant rice. This isn't instant rice. We're going to put it in the pan. We'll let it come to a boil and then we'll cover it and we'll simmer it for around 20 minutes and then when it's done we'll have it to put on top of the, the chicken on top of the rice. Now, while our rice and chicken is cooking, we're going to prep our vegetables for the toppings. I got a bunch of green onions here. We're going to clean them up, chop them up. These, we're going to chop these up. You can chop them back as far as you want. I mean, you can eat you can eat the green part. I don't use all the green part, but I do use some of it. I go maybe 
halfway up up the green and, and these are going to go on top uh, I got some cherry tomatoes here you can use regular tomatoes and you can dice them up I just use these little cherry tomatoes and all I do is cut them in half whenever I do a recipe like this I just cut them in half and put them on there and they're ready to go because they're not very big so cutting them in half works out about just right I need to sharpen my knife You can put a few or as many as you want. There's really no set amount. I think it said one cup diced tomatoes. So I'm just going to cut up maybe a dozen or so. Put on there. Cilantro here, fresh cilantro. Uh, all I'm going to do is pull some of this out. We're just going to tear the leaves off of it to sprinkle on top. This you can use as much as you want or as little or you can leave it off. You don't have to use it. We like cilantro, so me and my son. So I usually try, I usually end up using quite a bit. So we'll tear this stuff up and get this all ready to go. Then when we pull our chicken out of the oven we'll be ready to plate it up and we'll be ready to eat well this is our finished product out of the oven I've already put the garnishes the tomatoes the cilantro the onions on top now we can plate it up I'm going to use my half cup scooper and I'm going to get a half cup or so of rice out of there maybe a little more okay and then we're going to take the chicken breast and put it right on top and then Take our spoon, spoon some of the sauce right over top of the chicken and the rice. And there you have it. That's chili con queso baked chicken with the rice included. It's about 560 calories and 40 carbs. You could add a small salad with it and two tablespoons of dressing. That'll add about five to ten more carbs and forty more calories so you'd be looking at right around six hundred calories and forty five to fifty carbs that should fit within my limits that I have um, you might check and find out what your limits on your carbs should be every meal mine is sixty five to seventy so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video thanks